princess out on the Supreme Court. Nine. Good. Carmen Villasenor is just one day away from taking the test to become a U.S. citizen. Carmen knows her stuff. Good. But her teacher, a recent citizen herself, is helping Carmen feel confident about the material. Carmen immigrated from Mexico nine years ago. On Wednesday, she was studying hard because citizenship is important to her. Staying here for me. It's an emotional issue for Carmen and many like her. State Representative Dave Ajiba of Grandville is passionate too. He wants to make sure immigrants go through the legal process like Carmen. So he's introduced House Bill 4305, a measure similar to a controversial Arizona law. He says there are three reasons Michigan needs the law. Security, job preservation for Americans, and money. Last year, according to Fair Federation for American Immigration Reform, for health care, education, welfare, jails, and human services, Michigan alone spent $929 million. So that's the backdrop. The most controversial portion of the bill involves police stops. It says when an officer has stopped, detained or arrested someone for breaking the law, a person who is or should reasonably be suspected of being unlawfully present in the United States, a complete, full, and appropriate attempt shall be made to verify the person's immigration status with the federal government. I think what this is is legalized racial profiling. If you're an illegal, you're an illegal. It has nothing to do with racial profiling. It has to do with you entered this country illegally. Maria Vieo has a green card and has been in the U.S. for almost three years. One night recently, she had come to this Minuteman location looking for work. She was in a van with other immigrants when federal officials told everyone to get out. Where are you from? I say, I'm from Colombia. Oh, good. You have cocaine? And I smile. I say, no, I don't have cocaine. Maria told us she'd rather he'd slapped her than accuse her of drug dealing just because she's from Colombia. So the proposed law concerns her. Police can already pull you over, and if you have no ID, they're going to ask who you are. And again, if already existing law, if they think you're here illegally, they can already check with ICE. But the bill doesn't say police can check immigration status. It says they shall. It takes away their discretion. And critics say it will prevent people from cooperating with police. And so now what we're asking, or at least what he's asking to do, is put this huge liability on police officers to do an incredibly difficult job of trying to identify who is and who's not of an undocumented status in a time when, as an example, the Detroit Police Department is stretched very thin. 73-year-old Antonio Estrada is a hard worker. He has a full-time maintenance job and picks up extra work on weekends. He's a legal permanent resident, but speaks limited English. He was stopped once for a seatbelt violation. Yes. They asked me for my license. I didn't have my belt on, and so they told me, you don't have your seatbelt on, gave me a ticket, and went about their business. He fears for others who may not be able to provide ID. Morally, financially, economically, it affects people that are hard workers that are um, trying to make a living here. Let's just say you're, you're pulled over. What are you expected to show? You're expected to show identification. If you don't have identification and you can't speak English, there's a probability he's going to check you to see if you're here legally or not. They've got all kinds of issues going on in the city of Detroit that they have to address, and now you're telling them you got to go do this? I think that's crazy. I took an oath of office to defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. I didn't take an oath to defend the illegals. They have broken our law. 